Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Drills back again. Now I've had tons of requests asking me to make a tutorial where you can export your chain from Blender and get it into 5M without having to use 3DS. So this tutorial is going to run you through the process of doing that. I'm not going to be teaching you how to install the software or how to create your own chain. I've got other tutorials that cover that type of stuff. But if you already know how to make your chain or you've made your chain and you've got it in Blender and you want to get it out of Blender into 5M without having to use 3DS, I'm going to show you the process of rigging, etc. So let's get into it. At first, we're going to go to toby.space and we're going to go to teeth and we're going to find ourselves a necklace. I'm going to be using this one here. So obviously, we're going to copy this and then we're going to come over to our Code Walker RPF Explorer and we're going to paste it in. Now we're going to open up the latest release folder and we're going to find the exact object that we're looking for. In this case is teeth 001 just gonna check it's the right one yeah that's the right one so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna export XML I've already made a folder to put all this stuff into I suggest you do the same right that's in there all right so next we're gonna delete this part we're gonna type in dot yft and we're gonna need this too so we're gonna export the XML from here this is basically our skeleton structure. And then we're going to delete the dot yft. We're going to hit search. We're going to click on name. And we're going to look for this folder. It's got like 1,600 sort of items in there. So we're going to open up this one. This is all the GTA base game body parts. So we're going to be looking for this upper. This upper 15. Going to export the XML for that one. And then we need to get our head. We're going to get the chunkiest head there is to make sure our chain will fit all heads. So this is head 45. This ain't the chunkiest one, but you'll see the difference. Obviously, if I go on to head 42, you'll see it's a lot chunkier. Now for our chain to fit all peds, we want to go with the chunkiest one available. So we're going to take this one, head underscore 42, export XML. Alright, boom. That's everything we need from here. Right, we're going to come into Blender. I've already got my chain here, the infamous drills chain. Alright, we're going to go far, we're going to go import, and we're going to do code walker XML going to go to our folder we've created now we're going to click on all of them apart from the mp3 mode and we're going to make sure we've got this ticked and nothing else ticked because otherwise you're not going to import the skeleton with it you see we've imported the head the torso the chain and the skeleton i'm just going to rename my chain to chain so i can easily identify it Right, so we're going to select the chain and we're going to go into weight paint mode. We're going to click down here and we're going to add a new vertex group. I'm going to change this to vertices select. I'm going to hit A to select all. We're going to make sure the weight is set to 1.0 and we're going to click assign. We do need to rename this. I probably should have done it first, but we're going to rename this. And it's got to be exactly like this. So it's going to be scale underscore spine three. And it has to be capitalized like that. So make sure you copy that just as it is. And then we're going to hit assign. That's it. That's basically weighted the necklace. Just check that it's red all the way around. I'm going to go back into object mode. All right, so yeah, we need to go into UV maps. We need to create two UV maps. So this one, we're going to call it UV map space zero, not O, which I'm mistakenly done now. I 
and then the second one's gonna be UV map space one. Next we're gonna go to color attributes. We're gonna call this color space one. We need to make sure we switch these boxes to face corner and back color. And then we're gonna click on here. We're gonna click on hex. And we're gonna do FF8000, so eight triple zero. And you're gonna get this orange color. I'm gonna click okay. And then on the second one, I'm gonna call it color space two. Make sure both of them are switched over. I'm gonna click on color. And for this one, it's just gonna be zero, zero, zero. Hit enter. And turn the alpha all the way down. And then hit okay. Very important you do that exactly as I've done it. Right, now you see that our locations, our rotations aren't zeroed. So what we need to do is hit control A and we need to apply all transforms. Once you've done that, everything should be on zero apart from the scale. Right, next we're going to go to Durables, we're going to go to Shader Tools, and we're going to look for PED. Don't do like PED default or nothing like that, it's got to be just PED. This one here. I'm going to click on that. Actually, let me pull this out a bit. And we're going to do Convert Active Material. Once that's done, open up the Texture Parameters under Solemns. And if we go to our shading channel, you'll notice we've got these extra nodes. Now, this is our image texture. That one's already in. Obviously, I diffused the image texture. We need to put a bump map onto this one. So we need to add our spec map to this one. Okay, that's done. Come back to layout. You should see that we've now got these and we just need to click on embedded for both our normal and our specular. Now we're going to click on drawables, create drawable object. We're going to untick center selection and then we're going to click on convert to drawable. Minimalize that a little bit. Right, we imported the other chain model and the reason is so that we can copy the attributes for the pose and everything like that. So we don't have to create them from scratch. First thing we're gonna need to drag our chain into this. That's so. This bit hasn't carried over, so we need to we need to drag this bit into there as well. That needs to go in there. It should look a little something like that. Just need to try and find our actual chain, like not our chain, the chain we imported. Ah, there it is, there it is. This one here is a chain we imported. I'm going to select that and we're going to delete it. We're going to select our chain, we're going to hit Alt P. We're going to do Keep and Clear Transformation. All right, we're going to need to hold the shift button, take this and we're going to drag it down here and we're going to drop it into here. Right, and if, if we look under Solemn's Lods, we need to make sure that the high is matching with that. I'm not going to bother doing the medium and the low. Um, I don't really see the point in doing it, but basically you would need to decimate the object to make it more low quality to have mediums and lows. But for this one, we're just going to be doing a higher. We're going to click on that. We're going to click select hierarchy. And we're going to do export code walker XML. 
I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call it export. I'm gonna export the XML into there. Make sure we click exclude skeleton and then click export. Right, our chain is actually rigged now and it's exported. So I'm just gonna create a new folder inside Code Walker. And then if I open that folder and then drag our export into there. If I then go into OpenIV, you'll see this here. And there's our model. All we need to do now is just add a YTD, obviously make sure it's got the right texture on it. And that's it guys, you just gotta rename them according to your server setup. Drag and drop. And that's it, we're done. No need for 3DS, no need for anything else. If this video did help you, please like and subscribe. If you drop a little comment just to let me know that it worked for you, then that would be amazing. I appreciate you all and I'll see you in the next one.